Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm gonna go ahead and deep detail the exterior of the Challenger because I don't like doing it towards November. I did it last year for my first time with um, with the scat and it's kind of a pain especially when you're outside like trying to spray it and everything. So I'm here at O'Reilly actually and I'm gonna get something for the tires. I think I'm gonna get a brush because I use tire shine you know but I want to try out and if I have time if I even remember try to use the Meguiar's endurance tire gel but you need to like do the proper steps I'm gonna try to see if I have enough time to clay bar it and everything but main thing is to you know like wash it by hand get rid of everything next step try to clay bar it and then spray it down and let's see if I even have enough time in the day it's starting to get dark so let's get going all right, so I got the wheel cleaners. This is gonna be for the tires, and then I got a wash sponge. This is gonna be for the rims, because I have a mitt, and that's just gonna be for the paint. Just got here to the self-serving car wash. The way I do my detailing is gonna be different than other people's. Some is more detailed, more time. Uh, some people just run it through the wash, and then that's it. Uh, if you have a scat, especially like the wide bodies with the that you know the old Hellcat hood, I guess you could say. Um, you know the vents water gets in it with like the remaining soap that you like you know like if it's like a touchless or touch car wash whatever it may be gets in there even in the back in the trunk i know a lot of people complain about you know like having like a lot of like i guess you could say like cracks or space and water gets inside and soap gets in there even in the door sill so you guys want to make sure that you guys are drying that up because you don't want it to maybe rust or just you know like stick on to your car but i'm just gonna go ahead and not use this brush right here can you guys see it yeah i'm not i'm not doing that especially in a black car but regardless i would never use that brush on any of my cars it has so many like rocks dirt nasty stuff in it don't use it i'm gonna do it all by hand but i'm just gonna use um their soap i was going to use another one um like bring my own bucket but a lot of these self-serving like car wash stations they're they're not a fan of that and then they end up telling you stuff i know from experience <laughs> so i'm just gonna use their their soap I, i'll probably hand wash it again but it's not gonna be as bad as right now so let's see what's up first thing i did put gloves on it's a must it's a priority you have to do it before you start anything and then i started rinsing down the car from top to bottom getting the wheels get the brake dust out of the way use that pressure washer and really get everything out of the way on the rims as well I know I've reapplied and put liquids and solutions such as ceramic. Um, I used the Malco water beating one. Works really good, Re looks really nice, don't get me wrong, but you have to get out of that as soon as possible. You're gonna be doing that with the Hype Foam, I think it's called Hyperform by Hybrid Solutions. Works really well, I recommend it. Any other tire wheel cleaner will work really good as well. So here I'm coming back with the Hybrid Solutions Hyper Foam. It's really good, it works great. I like when it foams up, I feel like it does a better job than the ones that don't. But that's just my personal opinion. So I spray everything down, I get the rims, and I also get the brake calipers and the rotors. You might wanna probably actually start from inside out. So getting the rotors and the caliper out of the way. Then I go ahead and get the sponge, and I also forgot to take off the tag. Take that tag off, it might scratch your rims. Shame on me. Yes, I know. <laughs> but even on my microfiber towels, I do the same thing. I take it off. It's just to protect and to not scratch and avoid any other problems. Once I'm done with that wheel, I go back, take my sponge, take my brushes or brush, and I rinse them off with the pressure washer, get everything nasty off before I start moving on to the next wheel. I'm gonna go to the back one, do the exact same steps as well on the other side on the other two wheels. And after that, I'm gonna show you guys a closer look of how everything is, that I'm doing, how it's all breaking down, getting everything nasty. The reason I'm doing it twice, 
all around is because I don't do this very often and I should, but it's just a better result when you get to wash them twice. Shout out to Hyper Solutions. It works really good. I love that product. Let me know what you guys use down in the comments below. You can have the water running. I know it, it kind of adds up, not gonna lie, but it's all right, no big deal. Just rinse them off with the pressure washer. I didn't mention it and I wasn't using it at the time, but you should use some detailing brushes and get into the lug nuts as well as the brake calipers. It's a lot easier than using that big sponge. So I recommend doing that. Once I'm done with the wheels, I start working on the paint from top to bottom. The reason I do the wheels first, in my opinion, it works better because once you start rinsing it with that pressure washer, it just splatters all over the paint. So I'd rather do the wheels and then work on, the, on all the paint. So I do the top to bottom, I get all the panels um, one by one, get the windshield, get the trunk, get the hood, do this once and then I start over and do it again. The reason for it is because I don't hand wash my car that often, but I do it pay a monthly subscription for an automatic car wash touchless obviously not touch and it just saves a lot of time and money for me so i'd rather do that and hand wash it once in a while and it's actually worth doing the the monthly subscription because with the minnesota weather the ones you guys the ones who live here you guys know that your car gets dirty really quick because of the bipolar weather so i think it's worth it, it works for me So once I get the hood, the trunk, the, everything on the top, I start working on the wide body fenders on the front, that whole panel, and then I get the bumper, get the headlights too, you better get in the headlights. Trust me, there's some nasty stuff in there if you haven't noticed. I've seen like bees and bugs inside the holes of the, one of the, like the, the headlights. Yeah, it's, you need to clean them. <laughs> But then I start working on the door too. I go all the way to the back. I repeat the same exact steps and I do this twice again because it just helps. It's better if you get it and you do it twice. It gets all that nasty stuff out of the way, especially if you don't hand wash it that often. I'm also gonna mention I did not have enough time to clay bar it, unfortunately. It sucks, but I did actually get a clay mitt. So I heard if you wash it with the clay mitt it helps it's, it's a lot quicker process so i'm going to try it out next time i just get a microfiber towel and then i start drying everything down let me know what you guys use and what's the fastest way all right so my camera died right in the middle of everything i dried it up and i met a homie too he was back here with an a3 While I was doing that, after I dried it, I used Last Touch Spray Detail with Meguiar's. And then on the trunk, using Hybrid Ceramic Wax. This is the result of it. So you're supposed to do this when it's wet. And that's where I messed up, but it does well when it's dry too. You just gotta be quick with it. So I'm gonna finish up really quick and I'm gonna get out of here and I'll show you the result.
the amount of towels that I used to dry, wash, and everything else. Just a short clip. Fortunately, it rained right after I washed it. For the tires right there, I, I used Meguiar's tire gel. And then for the rims, I used Malco water beading. It comes in a blue gallon. I'll put the link in the description. It was like this, like the rims were like this. Right after I washed it, um, hand washed it. It didn't even need it for the moment, but I decided to wash it again. I had bad luck doing it because <laughs> it rained that same day or the next day it rained and it kind of ruined it for me. But I ran it through the wash really quick, dried it up. It took me like nothing, no effort to just dry it up and clean it up again. Um, I didn't spray it down or anything. I just wiped it down with, you know, drying it. And then I did the tires and the, and the rims and this is the result of it. So looks really good there might be some streaks here and there but for the most part look at that yeah i mean you guys know if you guys have this srt performance spoiler you guys are going to know why it does that <laughs> even probably with the other spoilers but so that's the end of it so i hope you guys liked it like comment subscribe share it we're going to be posting more videos so I really want to share with this with you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'll see you guys next time.